pharmacist, here's five things you should keep in mind for the flu season this year. Number one, Flumis quadrivalent is no longer the preferred vaccine for adolescents. This live attenuated intranasal vaccine may avoid kids from having to be injected by a needle, but it might be too good to be true. So just to give you a bit of background, originally NASI had recommended this as being the preferred vaccine for adolescents between the ages of 2 and 17. Then they updated the guidelines and said that there is weaker evidence to support that it is beneficial for those older than 6 years old. And now they no longer have it as the preferred vaccine for ages 2 to 17. So although this may be the more comfortable vaccine and avoid some tears in your pharmacy, it may not be the best vaccine. Number two, some children may need two doses. This isn't a new update, but it's just something I wanted to remind you of as it sometimes gets missed or forgotten. So anyone between the ages of six months up to nine years and is being immunized for the first time needs two doses of the influenza vaccine. What the first one does is it primes the body essentially and the second one actually provides that immune response and they should be four weeks apart at least. My recommendation is that these children get immunized earlier. Number three, there's a new flu vaccine just for seniors. There is a new vaccine that came into market. It's called flu zone high dose and it's indicated only for those 65 years of age and older. And the reason that this vaccine was developed is because your standard dose vaccine doesn't do the best job in actually immunizing our senior patients from influenza. And so what they've done is they've increased the antigen level, so it's four times as potent as your standard dose vaccine. And what that's supposed to do is allow a stronger immune response because we know in our senior patients their immune response is quite low already. And so it gives them that extra antigen to try and produce those antibodies against. Number four, individuals allergic to eggs can still get the flu vaccine. All influenza vaccines are manufactured by a process involving chicken eggs. And so there may be trace amounts of egg protein within these vaccines. After careful review of recently published studies, NASI recommends that individuals who are allergic to eggs can still be vaccinated against influenza, provided that vaccine is appropriate for that patient. Number five, those who are less than 18 years of age should get the quadrivalent vaccine. Okay, so you already knew this one, but this is my gateway to explain to you why adolescents are recommended to have the quadrivalent vaccine and adults to have the trivalent vaccine. Traditional flu vaccines contain three different strains to protect you against influenza. You've got two A's and one B. So now the quadrivalent has an additional B. And the reason that's important is because the disease burden within the adolescent population, specifically from influenza B, is high and they are more likely to have an infection due to influenza B than your adult population. And NASI also recommends that because there tends to be a mismatch, between the strain of influenza B that's circulating and the one that's in your trivalent vaccine, they recommend that additional protection by adding another B strain in order to fully immunize um, the adolescent population in which the B can be harmful for them. To summarize, let parents know that flu mist, the intranasal vaccine, is no longer the preferred vaccine in children and adolescents. Speaking of children, if this is their first time being immunized against influenza, they do require two doses that are four weeks apart. Number three, uh, there is a new vaccine called high dose flu vaccine for those 65 years of age and older, and it has shown to be more efficacious than your standard dose vaccine. Number four, individuals who are allergic to eggs can still get the flu vaccine, uh, even if they're severely allergic. And number five, adolescents need the quadrivalent vaccine because it provides additional immunity against influenza B, which can cause a significant disease burden in that population. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something as you enter into flu season. I want to thank you for protecting your community and stay tuned for my next video. Bye, pharmacist. Here is five things you need to know about the flu shot. I highly recommend you read this. It's only 78 pages.